some linguistic experts say that the sanskrit language along with the brahmi script came from the aramaic language is there some truth to this so these so called linguistic experts they say that the brahmi script emerged from the semitic aramaic script they don't refer to the sanskrit language a language is different from a script a script is different from a language a script is a vehicle that carries a language so when it comes to the sanskrit script you, you can write the sanskrit script the, the sanskrit language i beg your pardon when it comes to the sanskrit language you can write sanskrit in devanagari in brahmi in the devanagari script in the brahmi script in the kharoshthi script in the sharda script in any script that you want any script that is suitable for indian languages you can even write sanskrit in the tamil script if you wish it's perfectly suitable for that so a script is separate from a language a script is simply a medium that carries the language now let's talk about the brahmi script many of these so called linguists most of the, the linguists they claim that the brahmi script emerged from the ancient aramaic script which is from the middle east it's a semitic script what proof do they have for this none whatsoever it's all conjecture it's all speculation and they have come across they, they have come they have created this this kind of uh, situation by arriving at a so called consensus so a group of people come together and they all say okay we agree on this and that's how it becomes a law so linguistics is a non scientific discipline it should be scientific when panini who is the father of linguistics wrote his great treatise it was entirely scientific it was entirely algo- entirely logical and algorithmic unfortunately today's linguists are more into politics and consensus building and there is very little scientific or logical basis to the claims that they make and all of these so called eminent linguists who have who have decided that brahmi is descended from aramaic they are all from the west and they have a few indian minions bootlickers who are part of that group so we need to reject this nonsensical claim there is no evidence that brahmi came from aramaic there is no evidence that links the two scripts together there is no hard undeniable undisputable evidence there is very little tangential evidence even that links brahmi from aramaic it's just conjecture and speculation but they have created a group and they have decided what's what what is the uh, what is the facts and what's not which is nonsense most likely the brahmi script evolved from the ancient saraswati sindhu script the various inscriptions that are still undeciphered that you find in the saraswati sindhu region from about 5000 6000 years before today maybe 7000 years, years before today that script which was in use at that time it is most likely the script that eventually slowly evolved into the brahmi script so that is the most likely uh thing that happened but what needs to happen today in india is we need to create our own institutes of linguistics and we need to employ young linguists who have not been influenced by all this nonsense and we need to do an a priori uh undertaking and we need to examine all of these things from an a priori basis based on only logic not based on other people's interpretations and opinions so that's what needs to happen but most likely 99.999% brahmi has nothing to do to, to do with the aramaic script brahmi most likely is a temporal evolution of the old saraswati sindhu script